Hello everyone, this is our next video of 14-8 NSC4 series. Today video we are going to learn a lab of the SVI on the 14 firewall. So we will learn how we can create the VLANs on the 14 firewall and how we will deploy in the Cisco environment. So let's begin with the video. So before I start, let me give you the quickly overview of my lab. So this is my 14 firewall and the port number three this port number three it is connected to the external router this is marked as a connectivity for internet and the another interface will be this port one this is used for the management so that i can access using graphical user interface from my laptop and uh, this is port two it's connected to the cisco switch ethernet zero slash one and uh, this is the trunk with the Cisco switch and on the Cisco switches this is Ethernet 0 slash 1 is a part of VLAN 10 0 slash 2 is a part of VLAN 20 and 0 slash 3 is a part of VLAN 30 so the interfaces are respect respectively assigned to these three VLANs so this was the overview of connectivity so let's First, I will start the configurations from the Fortinet side and then we'll go with the Cisco side. So to save the time and keep the video smaller, I have already performed this lab. So I will show you the what are steps are required to perform this kind of labs and how we can test the reachability. So as you can see the port number 0 slash 2, it is connected to the Cisco switch. So port 0 slash 2. I have created the VLAN interfaces. So this is the port 02. So I already showed in the previous videos to creating the VLAN need to create the interface port and select the port numbers. So using this way, we can create the VLAN interfaces and I have assigned on port 2. So this is the VLAN 10. It is mapped on the port number 2 so this is the type vlan port 2 and here i have assigned the 30.10 by default there is a, there is an option to create address using matches so i have selected that the reason this address objects it is creating automatically and i have enabled pinged and ok and second is same is for the vlan 20 so I have taken VLAN 20 on port 2. I have assigned IP address 40.10. I have selected this option to create an object for the VLAN 20 and enable the ping and OK. And uh, same as for the VLAN 30. So in the VLAN 30, this is the VLAN ID we can see this is the VLAN ID if required we can change it from here also and uh, this is the IP address I have assigned on this VLAN so this IP address is assigned on VLAN only and same the address object and ping and ok so this is the first step you need to create a VLAN on the Fortinet and assign the IP address on the respective VLANs so in the my case I have assigned VLANs 10 30.1, 20, 40.1 and 30, 50.1. This is the first step. And after assigning this uh, VLANs, the second step would be the routing. So in the my lab, we can see that this is the ISP network, this internet based server. This is the ISP network. Support so three is uh, connected to this router. So this is the 10.0.0.1 it's the ip of this router and dot 2 is the is on the 40 net let me show you that thing also so dot 2 yes see this dot 2 is on the 40 net this dot 2 is on the 40 net port number 3 port number 3 and dot 2 so this was the initial connectivity so i have defined one default route towards the isp side so anything anything any traffic 
which requires to route from the Fortinet, it will move back towards this 10, 10, 1 via port 3 via port 3. This routing has been done and now the last step would be that creating a firewall policies for respective VLAN. So first, first is for VLAN 10. So on the VLAN 10 source, I have selected the VLAN 10 interface because we, we remember that the traffic will coming on the VLAN interface. Although it is mapped to the physical interface, but we need to always select the VLAN 10 as a incoming interface uh, for the policy sessions. Even I will cover in the upcoming videos policies and features in the very detailed way. So in just this video related to the SVA only. So let's focus on that. So here the incoming interface will be the VLAN 10 and port will be the this port 3. This is connected to the internet and source is the VLAN 10 and the destination is all. So I have allowed all and by default I have uh, active net, net service so that my all these subnets will be netted the port 3 IP address which is 2, 10, 10, 2 to reach this server. So I have enabled the net to save the routings. So this is the net I have enabled and now and at the end I have enabled the sessions that's it. So same process is for the VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 as well. So VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 as well. Let me open for 30 also. So incoming here incoming interface will be the VLAN 30 because the traffic will coming on the VLAN 30 and the destination will be the all and service will be all and I have enabled the net so that they can net with the outgoing interface which I have just explained. Select all sessions and enable the policy. So this uh, this I think this policy for the policy for VLAN 20 it, it is also required so it means that this policy routing is required so we can create another way of policy like we can create a zone and assign this VLAN 2030 and uh, we can create a one policy less in this uh, previous video I explained that we can create this way also Right, we can create a zones and assign zones to that particular policy. So we can also perform yeah, the demo. So there are the multiple types uh, we can use it, but now let's this video only will create the policy one by one. Will not using any zones, but there is options. So yeah, I think um Yes, routing is we covered, policies we covered, interfaces we covered. And uh, now let's go with this switch only. So I will show you the what configuration is needed from the switch side. The switch configuration is simple only. So let me show you the configuration for Ethernet 0 slash 1. So running contact interface Ethernet 0 slash 1. So you can see this is the trunk interface so that e this this interface can move traffic of all in all uh, trunk or all, all VLANs and uh, for port 0 slash 0 it is on part it is on the VLAN 10 so this is on the VLAN 10 0 slash 2 this is on the VLAN 20 and this is on the VLAN 20 and same is the 0 slash 3 so 0 slash 3 is the VLAN 30. So this interface is done. So from this external router, I have only assigned the IP address, loopbacks, and I have enabled the telnet service on this host. So if I show you that IP addresses, so this will be the IP address 10.01. This is the 10.01. So I have enabled only this uh, telnet service on this host. And look back is the 555. Five, five. I have also that. So if I try to access from 40.10, so let me open that 40.10.
this is the client too so let me show you the ip addresses so this is the 40.10 so i can show you one more thing that policy is not being heated as of now there is no hit on policy so once we are, so in in the case of vlan 10 we can see there is a hit but in the case of vlan 20 and vlan 30 we don't have any hit so we will first initiate the traffic and we can say that we are getting any hits or not let's say if i ping uh, 5.5.5 .5 so we will try to so we can reachable via ping 5.5.5 .5 and till night i can also perform see we can access this external router using the from vlan 20 so this is done close the session now it's closed from client to and we can we can see the policy users let me let me see this let me see this policy users so we can see there is a utilization on the policy and uh, same is for the yes we from the vlan 20 it is utilizing let me show you that that last use of 42 seconds first use of 52 seconds so this is showing used and uh, let me try to initiate for the 50.10 and uh, first I will show the so IP interface brief so this is the IP address 50.10 and this is the part of VLAN 30 and uh, let me try to first ping and before that ping I can see that there is a no uses of the policy so zero byte so let me ping it 5.5.5 .5 .5. I can ping it telnet 192 oh sorry 92 telnet the 5.5.5 .5 so I am trying to access this external server using loopback address so this is then I can access the external server even I if you want I can show you the IP address so see I am this row this host only 5.5 .5 use I have done the telnet so let's verify from the policy users we get the risk hit or not wait a minute yes we can see that we there is a policy use on vlan 30 also so if i open it so we can see that this is the 30 interface also uh, for this left side i can show you the capture of this port 2 so that we can see that there is definitely there is a tag of the vlan which is running on the traffics so i just wanted to show you that traffic of that particular vlan tag so that i can show you that thing so we can see this is the vlan id which is adding on the 802.1q virtual LAN. So if I try to telnet again, so see telnet data is running. Let me push it for now so that we can see the data. So this TCP is running and on the see this is the VLAN ID. Let me highlight it. So this is the VLAN ID which is visible on the packet itself which is going uh, which is going from land side towards the 40 net and then it will go to the internet or external host kind of that so why this way we can verify that the tagging is successfully happening VLAN tags is run so this was the uh, whole video of the SVI so in the Cisco term this process known as the SVI switch virtual interface where we will create VLANs on the switches and then we will distribute on the on the endpoint or we can distribute our network and provide the segmentations of the networks using VLAN. So same kind of things we can achieve on the Fortinet firewall as well. So what will be the steps? Let me quickly summarize it. 
the step one will be the you need to create a VLANs. So here you need to define the name. Type will be the VLAN and you need to associate the one interface physical. So I have associated on VLAN this port 2. So you need to select the any interface with where you want to associate and you need to create you need to define the IP address which is needed and based on the requirements other things can be enabled like ping HTTP SSM, SNMP and other things. This will be the first step and connected switch so in this case this ethernet 0 slash 1 is the switch interface it should be the trunk from switch side and other than that the rest everything is will be the same that routing is required in the case of port based also in the case of the vlan based in both case routing is required and uh, other than that policies we need to create where we have to select this is very important that during the policy creation we need to select the interface as the incoming VLAN. So this will be the interface. This is not, it is not like a port 2 is connected. So port 2 we need to select. This is not. We need to select the only only VLAN interface. And after that, after then it will work. So this was the video related to the Fortinet SVI. So we can how we can deploy on the Fortinet. I hope you enjoyed this video very well. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and also subscribe the firewall except for this kind of video. Thanks for watching.